guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Howling Wolf, and today you're learning something new about me because I'm unboxing my survival pack that I use when I go camping. So, uh, the thing that you'll learn about me is that I love forests and hiking and camping and all the gadgets with surviving. I am a <laughs> love collecting them. So, let's get more into the video. So, I'm going to open this up. I can show you what I've got. So these are just two bags. This ba these bags are really useful because if you don't have water, you can put wrap them around the leafy branch of a tree and use the elastics here to so, like secure it on the tree. And water will collect in the bottom for surviving. Like if you need water. Here I've got my these things. Is it focusing? The there are these things for they're useful they have like little spikes they're useful for putting bandages on so securing them got some bandage I've got some band-aids and I've got a bunch of elastics and also here I have rope with a loop at the end so you can tie something or hang it on a tree okay we're going into the next compartment so these are really useful. They're like bacterial things coming out. They're really small. If I can get it to focus, you might be able to. There. See, there, that's how small it is. Like, that's my fingernail. And they're tiny little tablets. You put them in per one liter of water if you have lake water and you can't find water. I have six of them. So that would cost for six liters of water. It would work. So one per liter you just put the little pill thing in and you shake it up and wait 15 minutes till it dissolves or maybe 20 minutes I don't know and then the water is pure for you to drink no matter like how dirty it was before it's good to drink so those are cool then I'm just gonna put my other stuff back in I'm gonna put this back in its little compartment here. This bag is pretty useful because it's a small bag, but it still keeps stuff good. Okay. Next compartment we have is this one. Oops. This. In here we've got these. They're matches, but they're not any regular match. They're really good quality matches. And they actually, if you can look, they have really big things, so they're great for starting fires. If you need fire starter, that type of stuff. So they're really useful for that. And they're also waterproof and windproof. So they're windproof and waterproof as well. They're very useful. So yeah, that's what's really good about these. Got lots of them in here, so you definitely won't be hard to start a fire. Like, <laughs> in a good way, I mean. Okay, so there's that. The next thing is this, very important for surviving, because if you, um, break, like if you, your sweater gets a hole in it, or your tent, or something gets a hole in it, needle and thread is perfect for that. So I just got some really good quality thread and a needle in here. You can probably see, oh, the shininess of it right there. To focus. So yeah, there, then here we've got the thread. Okay, I spent way too much time talking about thread. Um, oh, this stuff is really cool. I love this stuff. Yes, it is in a Speedo container. Um, but it just probably had a water cap in it before. So, you might not know what this stuff is, but... I'm gonna just push it out in my hand. It's hard to get out. This is fire starter. So what you do is you have to be able to get it out of this thing. Push them out onto there. So it's basically like waxy stuff. And 
what you do is you take one of the pieces out, like see how there's, uh, four, five, there's six pieces in here. You take one of them out and you, um, you, uh, what you have to do is you take it out and you crumble it like around where you're going to be, where you're going to start the fire, I mean, and then you get the mat, one of the, those waterproof matches that I had and it will keep it, uh, fiery for a long time so you will never have to worry about like not being able to start a fire in the rain and stuff I'm just gonna put that stuff back in there so I'm I really like all these type of um, you know gadgets and things okay so in here we've got my pocket knife I mean my yeah my pocket knife it's like a Swiss army knife it's got knife it's got scissors really sharp scissors really useful knife. The only thing is it gets um, unsharp, like it, the sharpness goes out. So I have a solution for that is a knife sharpener. It's like a little block and you just, all you do is you take your knife, you take this and you just have to scrape it along there. My knife's already sharp right now, so I'm not going to really do it, but I need to get your knife back in without cutting yourself. And there so that's the knife sharpener so I won't run out a whistle pretty useful if you get hurt or something uh, to call other humans towards you and one more thing a compass if you get lost always know like what direction your campsites in and that type of stuff so so one of those water compasses it's not really oh yeah there so you just got to line the north up with the north. And then I know that north is that way. I think. Wait, no, I didn't do it right. <laughs> you need to know how to use it, definitely, which I suck at. Um, there. Anyway. Oops. <laughs> but you need to have a, like, you don't need to have one, but I think it's useful to have a comfort, compass. So I'm going to put them back. That's my second compartment. My last compartment, or that's my third compartment. Maybe. My last compartment has only one thing in it, and it's, I really like this thing. I thought it was super cool when my dad showed me this. It looks useless. I don't know if you guys will know what it is, but I'll tell you. So this thing it's really cool if you can see on the wire here wait i'm gonna get it to focus one second there see these little barbed things like it feels like sandpaper sort of and they're these two things so if you have a wood branch that you need to use uh, that you need to cut like a log or something to, to to make firewood. You just take these and you put it around the log. Like if my knee is the log, I'm not going to actually do it. But you put it around like that and you just go boom, 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 boom. And you just go like that and it will actually cut it. Oops. It will scrape across and it will cut the thing. So that's really useful. It's like a mini chainsaw because you can't really keep an actual big I mean a mini jigsaw you can't keep a giant jigsaw in your survival kit so it's a mini jigsaw so that's my survival kit oops that fell out I just need to close it up the things are falling out because I'm not closing it okay that's my survival kit so uh, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I did making it. And feel free to leave a comment down below if you think there is another thing that I could add to it that would be really cool. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, have a good day.